Hi, I'm David Baxter. And I'm Kasha Thompson. And welcome to Cabarrus This Week. And this week, we're going to kind of give you a little preview of the Cabarrus County Transportation Services. We're here we're riding around in a LinkedIn van. Going to drive all around, kind of show off a little bit. Brand new digs they have there. We've got a lot of information. I'm going to tell you a lot of different things. So grab that pen and paper so you can jot that contact info down. But if you miss something, don't worry about it. We'll give you a web address and an email address at the end of the show. We are riding along in a CCTS van, which is on our road every day, providing valuable services to many people in our community. Today, we're riding along on one of the vans and learning more about the services offered through Cabarrus County Transportation Services. The CCTS vans help individuals access medical offices and the other resources that can improve and enhance their quality of life. By providing transportation for essential services, CCTS promotes an independent lifestyle that allows individuals to remain in their homes as long as possible. Eligibility requirements apply to use CCTS vans for rides to medical appointments or other essential or life-sustaining services. CCTS operates during normal business hours six days a week. The van provides approximately 225,000 miles of service each year with more than 100,000 trips and utilizing a fleet of more than 23 vehicles. Another service that is open to the general public is Cabarrus Lynx Vans, which bring rural residents in Cabarrus County to major employment, shopping, and medical offices. Cabarrus Lynx co collaborates with human service agencies, major employers, and education institutions to, to provide reliable transportation to connect rural residents with shopping and leisure destinations in Cabarrus County's larger cities, and to provide better access to jobs. It provides public transportation to residents in Harrisburg, Midland, and Mount Pleasant with routes going to major employment hubs such as Concord Mills, Carolina Mall, CMC Northeast, and the CK Rider Bus Hub, where riders can transfer their ticket to take a bus to locations throughout Concord and Kannapolis. And we want to remind everyone that the Transportation Office has a new location. Their office is at 1303 South Cannon Boulevard in Kannapolis. For more information about Cabarrus County Transportation Services, call 704-920-2246 or visit cabarruscounty.us slash transportation. Now you wouldn't think, I mean, but it's almost time to start signing up your kids for summer camp. Now Frank List Park offers a wonderful day camp all throughout the summer and they have qualified instructors and camp counselors. It's the Discovery Day Camp at Frank List Park. Your children enjoy summer outdoor activities all through the summer, learning about nature, fitness, healthy eating habits, all kinds of cool things. Their days will be filled with field trips, crafts, experiments, learning, and of course, all the joys that summer camp brings to you. Now, the Discovery Day Camp is available to children ages 6 through 14 years old. It's offered June the 17th through August the 16th. Camp hours are 7 a.m. until 6 p.m. Registration fees vary from like $95 to $125 per week, and now that depends upon registration and payment date. Register and pay early, and of course you get the lowest rates that way. Of course. For more information about Discovery Day Camp, that's held June 17th to August 16th at Franklin's Park, just contact Ben Sharp. You can call him at 704-920-2702, or you can email him at brsharp at cabarruscounty.us, or you can just visit Cabarrus County us slash parks now around st patrick's day do you go out in the fields and look for clovers oh absolutely make your wishes that's it yeah whenever i find one four leaf yeah, it is, yeah. <laughs> how often does that happen not very yeah. often well children ages two through five can celebrate st patrick's day a bit early at a free event on thursday march 7th at 10 a.m at the concord branch of the cabarrus county public library Celebrate St. Patrick's Day with stories and shamrock car crafts. For more information about the St. Patrick's Day story and craft at the Concord Library at 10 a.m. on Thursday, March 7th, call 704-920-2058 or visit cabarruscounty.us slash library or facebook.com slash cabarruscountylibrary. Well, teens are invented. I'm invented. Well, they could be invented, but they're really invited for the Video Games Day at the Concord branch of the Cabarrus County Public Library. 
from 2 until 4 p.m. That's on Saturday, March the 9th. You can sharpen their skills. Not, you know, they probably don't need a lot of sharpening, but you can even get even better with your Wii games and enjoy a whole lot of time with your friends. For more information about Video Game Day, and that's from 2 to 4 p.m. on Saturday, March the 9th at the Concord Library, just call 704-920-2053 or visit cabarruscounty.us slash library or just go to facebook.com slash cabarruscountylibrary. Now just a few weeks ago we had a uh, count of the homeless population mm -hmm. in Cabarrus County and there's an event that kind of ties into that a little bit and provides a perspective on the homeless population. The Concord branch of the Cabarrus County Public Library is hosting a visit from the best-selling author Jenna McMahon author of Calling Home, The Ocean Inside and Anonymity, on Wednesday, March 13th at 5.30 p.m. She will talk about her writing as well as teen homelessness, the subject of anonymity. The program is co-sponsored by the Concord Friends of the Library and is free and open to the public. For more information about the author talk by Jenna McMahon at 5.30 on Wednesday, March 13th, call 704 920-2053 or visit cabarruscounty.us slash library or facebook.com slash cabarruscountylibrary. Well, you know, every spring comes up and you're thinking about, well, you know, what about my landscaping? Should I change it up a little bit? Well, we got something really unique for you. Let's try something totally different. Learn how to turn your yard into a landscape of healthy fruits, vegetables, and herbs. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. You can do that at the Edible Landscaping Workshop that's on Thursday, March the 14th, at the Concord Branch of the Cabarrus County Public Library. You can present a program on edible landscaping. So the, the program isn't edible? No, the program's not edible. You have to wait and oh, grow okay. your... Okay, there you go. Now, the edible landscaping, again, is on Thursday, March 14th, 5 p.m. in the auditorium and the Cabarrus County Extension Agent, David Goforth, Special Agent. Special Agent. There you go. He's going to discuss edible varieties and tips on how to produce an abundant crop. Now this workshop is free and open to the public. For more information about the Edible Landscaping Workshop at 5 p.m. on Thursday, March 14th, the Concord Library, just call 704-920-2054 or visit cabarruscounty.us slash library or facebook.com slash cabarruscountylibrary. Now, I'm very fortunate to know that my genealogy goes back to Poland, yeah. both sides of the family. That's, that's where we are, that's where we're from. 100% cool. Polish here. But if you're interested in learning about your family roots and didn't know where to start, then come out to Genealogy 101 on March 16th at the Concord branch of the Cabarrus County Public Library. Learn how to prepare a research plan, what resources are available, how to use them, and tips for organizing your findings. Registration is required to attend. To register, call 704-920-2061. For more information about Genealogy 101 at 2 p.m. on Saturday, March 16th at the Concord Library, visit cabarruscounty.us slash library or facebook.com slash cabarruscountylibrary. Now there's an event coming up where older adults and their caregivers, you cannot, you can't miss this. It's the Senior Health and Wellness Day, and that's on March 13th at the Cabarrus Arena and Event Center. This really is a great, great event. Older adults can participate in a variety of health screenings, you can speak with health service providers. Also, you find out a whole lot of resources just to make living at home a whole lot easier. For more information about the, about the Senior Health and Wellness Day, and that's at 9 a.m. until 1 p.m. on Wednesday, March the 13th, and at Cabarrus Arena and Event Center, just call Cabarrus County Senior Center, 704-920-3484. And I tell you, that this event really is, usually is about 1,000 people, and it all it's kinds tremendous. of different booths. They have entertainment, and they also have food. <laughs> well, my friends who have the small ones, we have stuff for our aging population, but also right. stuff for moms with kids of ages two to five, and that's a mommy and me class at our parks. What a great way to get outside, encourage the love of nature, oh, yeah. and take advantage of the beautiful resources we have in Cabarrus County. The mommy and me nature class will be held at Franklis Park on Thursday, March 14th. Moms can bring their toddlers ages two to five for a combination of classes with songs, outdoor play, stories, crafts, and much, much more. Topics in the class series include trees, animals, insects, recycling birds, and soil. Recycling classes, birds? Yes, you oh. recycle the birds. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's like angry birds. They just keep coming back. Coming back. That's it. <laughs> Uh, classes rotate between Camp Spencer Park, Franklis Park, and North Cabarrus Park. 
parents must stay with their child during class time. This is not a drop right. and go. Right, right, really. <laughs> Cost is $5 per session. Pre-registration is required by Thursday, March 12th at cabarrascounty.us slash reserve partner. Enter the search word FLP mom, one word. For more information about the Mommy and Me Nature class at 10 a.m. on Thursday, March 14th at Franklis Park, call 704-920-3350 or visit cabarrascounty.us slash parks or facebook.com slash cabarrascountyparks. Well, it's softball time again. I'm excited. I played softball forever and ever. So adult softball leagues are available at Franklis Park. When the teams better show up, you kind of sign up pretty quick because our team, we've already signed up. We're ready to go. Now, late registration ends on March 15th. Games begin the week of April the 1st. Teams can sign up to participate in men's open, co-ed open, women's open, men's church, and co-ed church rosters. For more information about the adult softball leagues at Franklin's Park, just contact Ben Sharp at 704-920-2702, or you can email him at brsharp at cabarrascounty.us, or you can visit eteamz.com slash FLP softball. We sure love doing things with insects, don't we? <laughs> yeah, I guess we so. We have something, if you're an entomologist lover or love studying bugs and entomology, then there's always something great for you in Cabarrus County. And the latest one is a, large, in a, a program to explore the largest group of animals in the world, the Insectigations Workshop. Mm. Kind of like an investigation insectigation. Ah, okay. On March 16th at Frank Lisk Park take part in many hands-on activities to explore the insect world and explore how insects eat and communicate or tell them to bug off. If you told a bug to bug off, would they understand? <laughs> yeah, right. The workshop is open to all ages. Cost is $2 per person. Pre-registration is required by Thursday, March 14th at cabarrascounty.us slash reserve partner and enter the search word insectigations. For more information about Insectigations Workshop at 1 p.m. on Saturday, March 16th at Franklis Park, call 704-920-3350 or visit cabarrascounty.us slash parks or facebook.com slash cabarrascountyparks. You want to try your luck at the game of disc golf and join the annual Luck of the Irish Disc Golf Tournament. That's going to be held on March 16th at North Cabarrus Park. This amateur doubles tournament is great for all ages of disc golf enthusiasts. Now, this Captain's Choice format tournament will sh truly show if you have the luck of the Irish. Now, don't forget to show those lucky Irish colors by wearing a lot of green. Cost is only $12 per two-team team, two-person team. team. Pre-registration is required online by March 14th, cabarrascounty.us slash reserve partner. Enter the search word DISC. For more information about the luck of the Irish DISC golf tournament from noon until 4 p.m. on Saturday, March the 16th, at North Cabarrus Park, <clears throat> excuse me, contact Jonathan Poole at jdpool at cabarruscounty.us or you can call him at 980-521-1640 or visit cabarruscounty.us slash parks. So our parks close early during the winter, but that mm -hmm. doesn't stop some great things from happening. And Ooh. we've got a sneak peek opportunity for you. It's a journey through the trails of Camp Spencer Park with the park ranger on Saturday, March 16th to explore night animals well, that's cool. and how our senses work at night. I see. There you I go. See. The night hike is free and open to all ages, but pre-registration is required by Thursday, March 14th at cabarruscounty.us slash reserve partner. Enter the search word hike. For more information about the night hike at 7 p.m. on Saturday, March 16th at Camp Spencer Park, Call 704-920-3350 or visit cabarruscounty.us slash parks or facebook.com slash cabarruscountyparks. Now, do you Skype? Well, if you don't, you might want to try this free computer resource that allows you to video chat with friends and family across the state, or well, across the country, actually across the, the whole world. Now, I have a friend of mine whose son's overseas, and they watch football games together <laughs> by Skyping. Of course, you know, my friend here knows... 10 seconds ahead of time, what's, what's going to happen. happen. So, All bets are off. Yeah, so he goes, hey, watch for this. No. <laughs> so, But anyway, a two-part How to Skype computer workshop will be held at Cabarrus County Senior Center, 10.30 a.m. on Thursday, March 14th. And on Thursday, March the 21st, cost is $5 per person per session. Pre-registration is required to register in for more information about How to Skype computer workshops with session one, again, at 10.30 a.m. 
Thursday, March the 14th, Session 2 at 10.30 a.m. on Thursday, March the 21st at the Cabarrus County Senior Center at 331 Corbin Avenue in Concord. Just call 704-920-3484. It's time for another Senior Dance. All right. Uh, the senior count, the Cabarrus County Senior Center is holding a dance on Friday, March 8th and Saturday, March 9th. Come out for the Friday night dance featuring music by the classics. All right. The Saturday night dance will feature music by second time around. Dances are held both nights from 7 to 10 p.m. at the Cabarrus County Senior Center at 331 Corbin Avenue in Concord. The cost for each dance is $5 at the door. For more information about the Friday night dance on March 8th and the Saturday night dance on March 9th at the Cabarrus County Senior Center, call 704-920-3484. Now, teens are invited to a geek-tastic craft night. That's on March 14th at the Kannapolis branch of the Cabarrus County Public Library. You can kind of learn to turn, oh, get, take an old t-shirt and turn it into a really cool, funky bracelet. That's pretty good. My, a my, bracelet? A bracelet, yeah. I mean. I know, that'd be a big one, wouldn't it? No, no, <laughs> or multiple ones, I guess. Now, all supplies are provided. Now, the craft night is for ages 12 and older. For more information about the Geek-tastic craft night, 5 p.m. on Thursday, March 14th, at the Kannapolis Library, just call 704-920-1180, or visit cabarruscounty.us slash library, or facebook.com slash library. Now, Piccadilly Circus. All right, that's cool. You might think London, right? Uh, that's my first thought. Well, not so much, friends. There's another opportunity right here. Everyone loves the circus, so come out for the thrilling acts and exotic animals at the Piccadilly Circus on March 11th at Cabarrus Arena. It's an actual circus that's right. coming to the arena. Ticket prices start at $11 for children and $32 for adults. There are extra fees to participate in hands-on events during intermission. That Ooh, sounds very cool. Yeah, that does sound. Parking costs $5 per vehicle. For more information about the Piccadilly Circus, which shows at 4.30 p.m. and 7.30 p.m. on Monday, March 11th at Cabarrus Arena, call 704-920-3976 or visit cabarrusarena.com. Got some more activities coming out to the arena. The State Championship Wrestling is coming to the Cabarrus Arena and Event Center. That's on March 9th. Now, the NCAAU is hosting its Wrestling State Championship at the Cabarrus Arena um, at, from 8 a.m. until 8 p.m. on Saturday, March the 9th. Admission is free, you know, but there is a cost for parking, $5 a vehicle. For more information about the North Carolina AAU State Wrestling Championships on Saturday, March the 9th, Cabarrus Arena and Event Center, just call 704-920-3976 or visit cabarrusarena.com. No one likes to ham it up more than the two of us. <laughs> and we're very sorry for that. <laughs> <laughs> However, ham radio enthusiasts are invited to the 2013 Charlotte Ham Fest on March 9th at Cabarrus Arena and Event Center. The Mecklenburg Amateur Radio Society is hosting a day of seminars and testing for ham radio owners. For more information about the Charlotte Ham Fest from 9 a.m. until 7 p.m. on Saturday, March 9th at Cabarrus Arena and Event Center, Call 704-920-3976 or visit cabarrusarena.com. Now, we've had a lot of information on today's show, so if you missed any kind of contact information, just go to our web address, which is cabarruscounty.us, and you'll find the search box. You can put your topic in there and find the information, but if you have any issues with that, just send us an email at channel22 at cabarruscounty.us. Folks, we'd love for you to sign up for our newsletter. It's got all the information we present here, plus a bit more links directly to registration. You can just click right from there, sign up for whatever you'd like. To get our newsletter, go to the go to our website, go to the top right side of the page and fill out some information. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. And if you have family or friends that don't have Time Warner Cable, can't watch us on Channel 22 or say you just you know want to watch our shows when you have an opportunity, well just go to cabarruscounty.us and right there on the home page you'll see a video screen in the lower left. Just scroll down Right below that says more Channel 22 programs. Click on that. Icoms pop up. All the different shows that we do, all kinds of different categories, all kinds of things. We've got history moments, we've got simply local, we got the commissioners meeting, school board meeting, all kinds of different things. Plus, we've got a change coming up here. Mm -hmm. Week of March 4th. We, you know, if you were used to watching the uh, school board meetings at 7:30s on Wednesdays, they're going to be at 6:30s now. And if you're in Rowan County, you've been watching the Rowan County commissioners meetings on Saturday at 8. They're also going to be at 6.30. So all our different 
Public meetings are going to be now airing at 6.30 all week long. So and we'll have great. that information on our website as well. Absolutely. And I tell you what, I mean, we really appreciate the uh, CCTS giving us a ride around here and a driver's doing a great job and, you know, and you, and you didn't get sick reading your script, which is a good thing. I didn't. That's you good. Made it. <laughs> That's good. So until next week, you have a great one. Take care.